Sharia is simply an Arabic term that refers to Islamic teachings. These include things like praying five times a day, fasting, giving in charity, being kind to parents, forgiving those who do you wrong, loving your neighbor, standing for truth and justice, similar to teachings of other faith traditions. Unfortunately, there are a lot of conspiracy theories on the internet by anti-Muslim hate groups about Islam and Muslims. Contrary to the misinformation campaign by the multi-million dollar Islamophobia industry, the reality is that Islam is one of the world's major religions and shares many values with Judaism and Christianity. As one of the three Abrahamic faiths, Islam teaches similar stories to the Bible, including about Adam and Eve, Abraham, Moses, and Jesus. Muslims further believe in all the prophets, and believe prophets were sent to teach us the same essential message, to love and worship the one true God, and to love and do good to God's creation. Islam further teaches similar basic values of compassion, mercy, justice, and charity, like other faith traditions. Linguistically, Sharia means a path that leads to water. The idea is that just as a thirsty animal seeks a path to water, we as human beings are spiritually thirsty, and Sharia provides a path toward fulfilling our spiritual thirst as human beings. Islamic teachings include the command to follow the laws of the land in which you live. So here in our country, it would include upholding the U.S. Constitution, the supreme law of our land. In our country, one of the values we cherish as Americans is religious freedom. Those who seek to ban Sharia are in fact seeking to ban Islamic teachings, which strips American Muslims of their right to practice their faith. Singling out and seeking to prohibit a minority group from practicing their religion is un-American, unconstitutional, and immoral. Such attacks on our fundamental constitutional values jeopardize the freedom of all Americans. The best way to protect the religious freedom of all Americans is to uphold and preserve the right of each to freely practice their faith, just as the First Amendment mandates. So let's stand united as Americans against attacks on the rights and freedoms of any group, including American Muslims.